Everything's changed now. Rob's left his job because he wanted to. He wasn't fired or laid off. He just felt like it. So we have to move house into a smaller house, which is, I mean, it's not the end of the world. You know, there's rooms we don't use, but it's stressful. It's emotional. Um, our daughter was born there. No, she and, wasn't. Yep. Yeah. Well, she was born while we lived there, so that's all she knows. I've had to go back to work, which, you know, he, Rob made that choice for us. I mean, it's the right choice. Well, we all make choices, honey. Don't we, Anthony? <laughs> yeah. Of course, we all do. Uh, so you want to put the house on the market, yeah? Yeah. So I'd say it's worth a fair amount now, isn't it? Our house, we painted it. It's all Dulux heritage colours now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We bought it about two and a half years ago, so I'd say its value is... Yeah, I got you a great price for that, I remember. But um, right now, I'd say it's not going to be worth a lot more than what you paid for it. How much? Not a lot more. Well, it's all sort of dropped off a bit, hasn't it, since the old Brexit nonsense? If I'm honest, now is not a good time to sell. If I were you, I'd just sort of leave it for a while. Just out of curiosity, if it is such a worthless shithole, why'd you make us buy it in the first place? We didn't make you buy it, did we? I remember you telling us we were making a great investment. Yeah, you were. Look, it is a great investment. It just sounds to me like you're contradicting yourself. I'm just telling you the market reality. The market reality. How are you going to get a good rate with an attitude like that? You know, what about positive thinking? I mean, you got to jazz it up, buddy. Yeah. And why are you smiling? You're telling us bad news. You should do that with a somber face or a neutral one. It just doesn't seem like you're a serious person. All the smiling, your clothes. You're at work. People make life decisions in here, and you're sitting there all trussed up. You look like a magician. Because of the jewellery? So do we take a sign with us to stick in our lawn? Ah, uh, we've got a guy. Cool. You've got two original fireplaces, original wood flooring. It's parquet, right? Yeah, that's parquet, that. You can add that to your great schools and your transport links. You can't really go wrong. Well, we're going to have a look upstairs now, yeah? Help yourself. Great house. Oh, thank you. Enjoy the bedrooms. If there's any dirty knickers on the floor, just kick them under the bed. I mean, there won't be. We knew you were coming. Do you think they like it? I don't know. Do you think they've got an offer in? Right. Yeah, no, I know. You don't know. Oh, fuck. It's nerve-wracking. I went to see Wallace's place again with Fran. He asked if we were full steam ahead. I didn't know what to tell him. The truth? That we're not? I mean, we don't even have an offer on this place yet. Yeah, but he's put an offer in on his bachelor pad. Well, tell him not to do that. Why? Look, if we get Wallace's place, it's going to take the money pressure off, right? Yeah, but we don't even have a mortgage yet. Yeah, but we will. We're asking for half the mortgage we got now. Let's just do it. Let's go for it. We're going to sell this place. I mean, look at it. Look at our cushions. I'd buy it if I didn't already own it or could afford it. It's nuts we've had no offers yet. We should put it on with another estate agent. He's an idiot. What's he do up there? Take a nap with them. <laughs> or I like, uh, put on a magic show. <laughs> That's probably what he does. We should call him David Blaine. Then between us, like, to each other. David Blaine it is. <laughs>